Now that I'm done aligning, I can collect some features. And I can do that using the feature gallery. So whether or not I have a CAD reference model, I can just start probing features from here. Uh, we've added a couple new feature types. One is single point circle. When a hole in a part is smaller than the probe diameter, we'll give you the circle based on a plane and the offset between the plane and the location of the ball in that hole min point and max point so I can probe um, a lot of points on a curved surface or on a surface and the software will figure out the min point or the max point relative to a the normal direction of a projection plane but one of the neat new tools is called quick probe so if you have a CAD model one of the things that we have um, work to do is make probing features super super simple. So we're sensitive to the fact that when you're probing we want you to be able to collect features with as little interaction with the mouse and keyboard as possible. You never want to have to put the probe down. And so we figured if you have the CAD reference model and you're aligned to it, why can't we simply use the information built into that CAD model to automatically determine what you want to probe? And so in this instance, let me go ahead and click on Quick Probe. And as I move my probe stylus over the part, it's going to highlight and indicate the feature that it's going to create from that probe point. Here I'm going to go ahead and probe a couple planes. And then I'll come over here and probe a cylinder. or rather in this case, I meant to say cone. Now having used Quick Probe, when I exit, one of the key features of Quick Probe is that it creates the nominal as well as the measured features. And this has some interesting implications for analysis. So one of the things I can do is immediately go to a compare features view and start creating feature annotations. I can also immediately start creating and evaluating GDNT results. And so here you're going to see the evaluation of a GDNT callout based on the points as you can see here the points taken for that given feature 